Guess who called it? Guess who called it? I'm sure there were others out there, but I was on the record a long time ago, all the way back in February, calling for this and was revitalized by that debate performance. That is finally happening, folks. Joe Biden is stepping down as the Democratic Party's nominee for the 2024 presidential election, and it is going to an open convention. We will get exactly what we want if Obama steps up and runs the open convention. That's the last part. That's the missing piece of this equation that I'm hoping we can get the word out and get to the powers that be because he is the sole personality that can guide this process so that we finish it feeling good and positive and confident in our ticket. Kamala Harris will not be a shoo and She might be the front runner, but I think you will be reminded very quickly of why she has not been a more popular vice president as this process continues. My number one personal choice would be Westmore of Maryland. My expectation or hope in terms of reasonable candidates, people that are already have the name recognition and be careful with that analysis. People put a lot of emphasis on name recognition. This open convention process will give anyone the name recognition, the political fame that they need to have a chance up against Donald Trump if they perform well. Finally, a performance and policy-based convention. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't that sound amazing? The media frenzy that we are going to get out of this will be historic. We might come up with a new way to have a political convention. Not necessarily an open convention every time, but in terms of the way that the party communicates with its constituents, that's what this is about, people. That is the solution, is creative communication. That's the key to complex policy problems. That's how you get past the personality and get to the policy is creative communication. So let's see what you got, Gavin Newsom. Let's see what you got, Gretchen Whitmer, if they decide to get in there. We'll see who gets in. We'll see if people don't just get out of the way of Kamala. We'll see how the DNC handles it. This is historic. The ball is in your court, DNC. You finally listened to the warnings. Now, do you have the courage? Do you have the balls? to execute a good strategic plan for how to make all factions of your political party feel included in the process. Because with your superdelegate system and the way you manage the primaries, bumping up South Carolina, et cetera, dating all the way back to you know when, been a little bit of a mess so let's get this one right this is Dieter McBusiness reminding you that you don't get change in America by asking nicely stay tuned for stat pat me of a special edition of left coast live later today on Sunday July 21st 2024 Joe Biden is no longer the Democratic Party's nominee for president huge news Dieter called it